For this week's competitive drive, we're going to focus on the newest Big 12 champions, the K-State Wildcats, as they now prepare for the Sugar Bowl against Alabama on New Year's Eve. Well, this is something I dreamed about uh, me and elementary school being a championship, college championship. And it's just crazy, a dream come true. Felix Anadike Uzama is one of many K-State players that came to campus under-recruited and now have over-delivered, bringing home the first conference championship in a decade. At first, even in high school, I was like, okay, there's no way I'm playing college football because nobody believed in me or anything like that. But at the end of the day, I just listened to uh, my parents. I just believed in myself and believed in my, what I can do for myself. And this is what this is what happened. I just made my dream just come true. And, and I'm telling you, this is about the power of belief and the power of player ownership. And uh, when you have those two things, I don't think anything can stop you. And while they are champions, their road doesn't end here. Now the overlooked and under-recruited Wildcats will be making their Sugar Bowl debut against the Alabama Crimson Tide, a team comprised of 62 former four- and five-star recruits. Obviously, they had a, had a really good year, uh, lost a couple games on the last possession or last play, uh, which, um, you know, if, if not, they'd probably be in the, in the CFP. Um, so it's uh, going to be a great challenge to us. But recruiting ranks will mean nothing when New Year's Eve comes around. Uh, I had a lot of respect for Coach Snyder when he was there and the great job that he did for many, many years. And, you know, Chris has certainly picked up and, you know, built, you know, what has turned out to be an outstanding team for this year.